I would say until to about 2007, my, my strategy for life balance was to just uh, do whatever I thought I needed to do until I upset my wife. And then once I upset my wife, I knew that I, in fact, was yes. making the wrong decision. Yes. And now I've kind of been more proactive about, okay, I, I need to, uh, you know, be home at a certain time and, and plan things out for family and work. And But I would just encourage, if you're watching this and you're going, gosh, you know, oh, I really am guilty of... of putting too much focus in one area, just think about it and just design the life you want to have and think right. about how you want to balance that out. And then life lesson number 12. This is the, the final life lesson that you um, articulated in your book there. Uh, you make a living out of what you get, but you make a life out of what you give. It sounds very Yoda-esque, very uh, Dagobah, like we went to Dagobah and talked to Yoda. What does this mean in your mind, my friend? <laughs> Again, this is not an original thought either, uh, but it's a very important one. And I know that many of our viewers are going to have a hard time um, visualizing this point in their life, but there is a point in your life when you really have enough. You accumulate enough. And truly, at that point, you, you look around, and I've seen it happen with, in my own life, and I've seen it in others. You look around, and you kind of go, um, this is it? You know, I, I did all this work and I, and I did all this building for this. And what you, what you learn is that life truly is about how you can help others mm. and how you can give. It really is. This is not, this isn't, um, you know, some Tony Robbins speech that I'm giving here. I mean, this is, this is factual. And so, so... The point of the book when this uh, comes up is when our character in the book has gone through their entire life and has really kind of made it. And he begins to realize that it was really about the journey and it was really about what he was able to give back to his community, to his family, and to others. That's really what mattered. He was staring at his, his office full of plaques and trophies and appreciation awards and all these types of things. And what he realized was it, it wasn't about those things. And it wasn't about his balance sheet and his net worth. It was really about what he was able to give back. And I, I fully believe this is true. Now, Sean, if people want to get your book, where can they buy your book? Is it, is it on Amazon and then Barnes & Noble? I mean, pretty much anywhere the books are you sold. You can really get it anywhere. Uh, 12 Life Lessons Every Graduate Should Know is the one we're talking about here today. It's available anywhere, including on Kindle. Um, we talked a lot about roles, you know, and, and balancing roles. My most recent book is called The Priority Promise, and it's, it deals only with that topic, and it's a life management system, and you can also get it anywhere. Sean, I appreciate you for being here. I uh, appreciate you for uh, being a mentor in my life. Um, but I think most importantly, the thing I want to thank you for is uh, because you have done things the right way, or at least tried to for a long period of time, um, you've been able to demonstrate uh, to me kind of through your actions what to do and how to do it, and it's been a great example. So I just appreciate you thank sharing you. some of thank your time you. today and investing that with us. And thank again, you. thank you very much. You're welcome. Take thank care. You.